What's up, YouTube Nation? We're on Ren Lake and it is cold, baby. But check it out, it doesn't get much beautiful than that. And we just arrived and uh, well, right now we're putting on our, our heavy gear. And it doesn't, it really is 29 degrees right now with about an eight mile an hour wind, which as we all know, can be pretty brutal. So we're putting our wind rider Hayward suit on. Link in the description below. Check it out. 10% off with three pound fishing, baby. So we're gonna vertical jib jig the stumps and uh, see if these fish are biting like I think they should. It is winter time and this is there is no better lake than Wren Lake in the winter time. Let me tell you, it is fantastic vertical fishing. And that's what I hope to prove and show you today. We got the Savage 13 in the house. And we're just trying to get warm right now. Ugh. The number one thing when you're uh, fishing in these type of temperatures is a float suit. I'm out here by myself right now. Extremely important that I have a float suit on in case anything crazy happens. That's how I feel about it. A popping right here. That is awesome. Ooh, baby. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Got a little supplement weight to help us out with the wind. Hammering it with the 13 footer. And if we're fortunate, we'll get some 15 foot action. I got one of those lined up as well. Water temperature is pretty crazy low right now. What do you got there? 39 degrees, and we're talking a major change in temperature for these fish. Finally got one right there. First fish of the day. Good looking fish. Right there. Burn Lake slab right there, boy. That's nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I went ahead and changed my depth just because I want to get a better feeling on these, the size of these fish. And when I go down to that 10 depth, it completely makes these fish look huge even though they're not so by going to 15 i might be just a little bit more selective on what fish i choose to drop on Such a subtle bite. Gosh dang. All right, let's get on the other side of this stump. Smaller guy, but still a, a keeper here at Rim Lake. Gonna get on the other side of this stump line right here. That way that wind's pushing us. All right, guys. Woo, baby, it's cold out here. Ain't no joke. It's a good fish. Good 12 inch fish. Savage 13. That's what I'm using right now. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the 15 footer just because these fish tend to be a little bit spookier. So, if you don't know, the Savage 13 is just an incredible jigging rod. 13 footer, first and foremost. 
But when you get in these situations where these fish are starting to get spooky and you just feel like, man, if I had an extra two feet, an extra three feet on this rod, um, the great thing about the Savage 13 is it comes with those pieces. So all you have to do is add it to your rod and you've got yourself a 16 footer. So today what I did was I brought out a uh, 13, a Savage 13 that I added the two foot section. So we have the, the 15 footer here with us. And then of course I have two Savage 13s. Now primarily I'm a 13 foot rod guy. Um, check out that color, man. This, I mean, 13 footers are my go-to when I go vertical jigging on the tournament trails. If I come here to Wren Lake, it's a 13 footer. But there are times, and it happened about twice this year now, um, that on Grenada in particular, we needed 16 footers and we used 16 footers. So that's what's gonna be great about the Savage 13 for everybody. So you're essentially getting three rods in one, so check them out. But I'll tell you right now, out here at Wren Lake, the water is low and we have got major stumps everywhere. So they're very exposed, which is nice because we can actually mark our boat lanes and such like that so that uh, we don't have to worry about it when they are covered up. So let's catch more fish. Got it. And there's your first fish on the 15 footer oh yeah baby probably our best fish of the day so far right there good fish I'll let him go hey right now that's fun Catching a, a fish on a 15 footer is awesome. Imagine even doing it on a 16 footer. You can do it with the Savage 13. Beautiful fade into this maroon that just absolutely pops. Um, I don't know if you guys can appreciate that, but you can really see the, the color. It's just a beautiful rod. So anyway, here we go. So we got some good marks right here. We're gonna be targeting something in there. Definitely some fish going down. And uh, again, 15 footer is gonna get me right out there around that 13 foot mark comfortably without really having to do much. Oh, we got another one. All right. Tell you what, I'm gonna have to get used to this. This is pretty nice. Don't have to do much bending. Good fish, guys, right there. And they seem to be liking the carrot. I'll tell you what goes away when you start catching fish. The cold goes away. You don't feel the cold as much. Look at this. We got this guy here. He just come over and whacked it. Small guy. Ooh, I just saw a good one. Good fish, good fish. All right, we let them go. Good fish. 15 footers doing the ticket, man. Look at this guy right here. Right there at 10 foot. Right on the other side of that, I can guess. There we are.
Well guys, I think that's gonna end it for me. It is cold out here. My fingers are stinging. Man, it is. it looks beautiful, right? But that is absolutely deceiving. Great day though. Um, kind of only about five fish. But got to see the Ina area extremely low. Lowest I've ever seen it. And uh, definitely going to be coming out here again to experience it. Because uh, you can definitely mark, uh, you know, tracks, stump lines, all that stuff. Uh, it's just absolutely brutally cold today fingers are f stinging um i need to get better gloves that's what i'm going to do so but the hay work kept me warm uh for sure you guys check it out at windrider.com uh the savage 13 performed flawlessly i love the versatility of the different lengths you don't just have to have a 13 footer i think the wind today made it very difficult uh, and it being so cold. So the combination of those two things for sure made it made it tough. But the fish are here. So I'll just come back out on a calm day. So that's it. What else can I say? Take it easy, guys.